So this right here behind me, you guys, is a brand new construction right here. This is a super large home. It's wonderful. Everything from the outside. We've got a pool back there. We've got tons of square footage. We got drone shots. We got all kinds of stuff to see. So let's roll that intro. Okay, well I hope you are setting down because this is gonna be quite the adventure. Look, I'm just gonna be honest here on the front end. I'm doing my best to try to make this tour as short as possible so I don't take up your whole evening. But look, we're looking at just a very, very large home and wait till you see the back, the back of this thing, it's crazy. But anyways, this is a brand new construction. We're looking at somewhere around 3,000 square foot. I'll have more information in the description below. I want to mention that if you enjoy these types of site built tours, you need to check out the site built playlist. I have several new constructions that we did, even done some model homes. I like doing these. I like putting these in because this, you know, if you're looking to build or anything like that in the near future, it kind of give you some really good ideas and see whatever, see what other people are doing, see what looks great. So yeah, I must step right around here. I want to show you just a couple of things and then we're going to head it to those front doors. Let me say, if you enjoy the type of this type of content, you got to subscribe with the notification bell. I actually have some new site builds that'll be on the channel very soon. So stay tuned for that. I love the light fixtures that you see right here on each side of the garage where that sun's coming down. Let's see if we can, there we go. Really nice garage door, but I love that we have this door also beside the garage door. That way you don't have to have your garage door up every time you want to go in. That's an eight foot tall door there. They even have the landscaping and everything already done on this home. And like I said, it's just been completed maybe a month ago. I do want to give you just a quick snippet of right around here, but we're not, I'm going to actually head out there from the inside so you can see everything. Okay, <laughs> that's all I'm going to give you. Let's head back around the front. Making my way downtown. I, I love this walkway, how it curves like this, walks up on to your porch. This house was built four blocks high, so you can see it's kind of setting up a little bit. That's why you got this walk up right here, which is very nice. To these eight foot wood doors right here, double doors, beautiful. So we have us a little bit of a porch here on the front. Wow, check out the vault right there with your nice light fixture hanging. We have so much to see. We've got to get into this tour. Hey, y'all be sure to drop me a like on this video if you will. That'll help us out tremendously. I love those light fixtures right there as well. Let's go, it's showtime. So as we walk in, I'm telling y'all, y'all better be setting down is all I'm gonna say. Before I give you that full look into everything in here, I want for a second just to focus on our foyer area, really tall ceilings. And then look at this. I love how they wrap this right here with the brick. I just love, I don't know about y'all. I know you'll see it a lot like in a, in a fire, I mean, yeah, your fireplace will be brick and all, but I love just seeing brick in other parts of the home, like exposed like that. I really love that. Okay. Look at this. I know one of the first things you're noticing is these hardwood floors. Beautiful. Okay, I don't really know where to start. Where do I start? Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start down here in the living room. We're gonna make our way, circle back around and go into that kitchen. So the first things first, I love the arches that you see right here going into your hall. Uh, I love the built-in entertainment center. Gas fireplace. I think the gas is probably to me, I like it the most because of the simplicity of it. They say they can really put out some heat. And so, yeah, I mean, you know, you can just turn a little knob and click it on. 
Before I go any further, they've got some special doors coming in that's gonna go right here. Actually, I'm gonna have a little, hopefully have a picture of that when everything's ready. And I'll have that coming up right about now so you can see. But that's why at the time of recording, you don't see any trim or anything like that. Okay. Now, it's so long, you guys. Can y'all see that? I hope this video is doing it justice. Like from here, this is where the fireplace is all the way down here. It's so long. Look at that, which this is your dining area right here above these lights, which goes all the way up to 12 foot. You got a tray and it's like a tray. It's a tray and a tray. It goes all the way to 12 foot. The regular ceilings are 10 foot. And then it goes up to 12 right here. But so you're gonna have a really big, nice uh, dining room table right here, which will kind of break up the kitchen and the living room. But you could just see the amount of square footage you have in this area. It is huge. Now, what else is huge? This kitchen. Look at this island. I think this is a 12 foot island. I love that you got the cabinets. On the back side of it, great for storing a lot of things. Recess lighting. One thing I noticed in this home, they even went uh, all the way to the ceiling with the cabinets, but in the top part, you see you have the glass. And these are quartz countertops. I actually know what they're called. You don't, you don't know the name of these? They're called the Taj Mahal. Can you believe that? <laughs> I love to see the lights under the cabinets. And I actually uh, set this up before um, so I could show you kind of this deal right here. Watch this, you just turn this knob and it opens up out to your outdoor. Y'all know I have got so caught up in the tour I forgot to even mention. It's actually dark outside so I'm doing this at, y'all got me working at night, it's crazy. But uh, no, see they're gonna start moving in and so I had to come get the inside shots tonight and oh my gosh Thor appliances actually if y'all watch all of the videos you've seen I did one the other day that had these kind of appliances you got your gold pot filler right here we got this same backsplash over here that we have over there as well and we also have us a really big sink in our kitchen island sometimes I'll see you know sinks in the islands but they're not near this big. It's kind of just like a, maybe a, a small sink. They kind of consider like a prep sink or something. Once again, you gotta love the light fixtures throughout this house. You're gonna love that. But yeah, these are really nice appliances that are called Thor. Uh, they're just, you know, they're kind of commercial grade. I love them. We have to look into one cabinet before Y'all, this may be the baddest pantry on the channel. <laughs> I know you probably heard me say that, but this is for real. Look at this. All right, I'm going in. Oh, oh. <laughs> I knew, I, look, I seen y'all would have been watching. I, I'm smarter than y'all think. I know. I had to get over in the corner so you couldn't see the dance, but what? Yeah, I had to really take a deep look to know this was actually a pantry, but it is. My goodness. They done went and done it with this one. Look at this, got this ice maker right here. This is great. Y'all definitely drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about this tour. We're way on to the video. We're just getting out of the pantry. We gotta go. Okay, yeah, let's get a move on. So let's go to here and I'm gonna show you the back porch right now. All right, so let's quickly check out the back porch. I know I got a lot of drone shots. So I don't wanna spend too much time out here, out here, but I wanna show you a few things that just really set this off. First off, you know, the double doors that we have eight foot there as well, but check out the outdoor kitchen. Some of it's still being finished. So uh, just look past, they don't have everything set in for their uh, green egg right there, but. I mean, you got the countertops out here, the courts out here. They took that same brick for all that. It looks great. And then on down here, as you can see, we got the flat screen on the wall with another fire, another gas fireplace out here.
And then of course, the swimming pool. I can just imagine being over here in the afternoon, you know, flipping some steaks out here. Hey, no more flippies off the duck. <laughs> I bet y'all don't. Do y'all know that movie quote? Uh, let's see. Drop a comment. Maybe just one quick look at the pool right here. Wow. Got the slide and everything. Get back here and show you it all. What a peaceful setting. All right, we got to head back in. We got so much more to see. Let's go back inside right now. Next on the to-do list is check out these uh, guest bedrooms. I do want to show you the office. Like I said, don't forget those doors that would be there. But yeah, this is, I mean, the built-ins in this house is going to completely blow you all away. But you kind of got a set up where you can have a computer over here, have a computer over here, and you can work back and forth whatever you need to do, or you could set something up completely different over here. Maybe you want to put a TV or something. All right, so as we're heading back here, um, all of the interior doors and exterior doors in this house are eight foot. I want to make sure I mention that. Which way should we go? Tell you what, let's go down here. So we walk into our very first bedroom of the tour, and I know you're thinking, Chance, I thought we'd never get here. Well, <laughs> this one's a special room because, yeah, it's got its own bath. Really big closet. I hadn't been in this section of the house really. Uh, so this is gonna be fun for all of us. But yeah, into eight foot interior doors. It just, man, that really catches my attention. So we walk into our first bath. Make sure I give you a shot of this towel. Same countertops, the Taj Mahal, I'm talking. What, I mean, is there really anything better than the top? I feel like when you say something is the Taj Mahal, it's like the top. Let me look. What do you, what's above that? I mean, you're going to see a lot of gold fixtures throughout this house. It's going to match like all your, your, all your cabinet pools, you know, all of your light fixtures, Delta. I see them in a lot of homes. They're really nice faucets. But this is a great looking uh, in-law suite, I guess is what you call it right here on the front of the home. As we step out of here, we're gonna go on down this way. Look at that, look at that, oh my God. All right, and then we come right into here. Wow, this room, it's uh, maybe, no, nah, it's probably about the same size. 10 foot ceilings throughout the house too. Make sure I mention that. Oh, we got another bath. Oh, goodness. Let me give you a shot of this closet first. Why didn't I cut the light on in that other closet? I was just... My eyes had so much going on in my mind. Great size closet. Don't y'all agree? Now, look at this. So, this is a Jack and Jill setup right here, but a huge bathroom. I don't know how many times I've said huge in this video, but uh, this may top. <laughs> That's what I'm going to title this video. No, I'm just kidding. Double sinks broken up right here with these cabinets. But I mean, it's just a very big area. And then right in here is your shower tub combo. Oh, this is the shove of all shoves right here, ladies and gentlemen. They got the same uh, faucets and stuff that we've seen in the other bath. I like that we have this door right here. And then y'all know what comes with a Jack and Jill. That means uh, that was that was Jill's room here is Jack's. I've got to show you our baseboards and then our crown molding. I hadn't even been able to stop to take the time to show you that. I 
I like the different racks that you see in these closets. You don't, I mean, you've got like shoe racks and stuff, and then you've got these over here. A lot of diversity in here. That is a super sweet guest bath, or Jack and Jill bath, excuse me. Okay, so this is one of them tours where I'm like making sure I have looked at a lot. Right here, was gonna miss this. It's just when you start looking at homes this big, it's easy to miss something. But I think what we've got left to do is just go down here, check out the main bedroom, our utility room, uh, maybe a powder room, I don't know, we'll see. Let's go down there and see what we got. Okay, so as we come down here, that direction is gonna take you to the main bedroom, which we'll go, we'll, um, how are we gonna do this? First off, let me say, this goes out to your garage. That's where I'm gonna wrap this tour up. So stick around for that. But right in here, we have a beautiful looking powder room. Went with a totally different color than what you see in the rest of the house, so I like that. And I know all of this right here was customized. The homeowners did that really cool. I thought it was, you know, this is the area that a lot of people when they're coming over and stuff will be in, and it's just, it's classy. It's classy, it looks great. Some different light fixtures in here, but you still got that gold, that gold popping. And it's right here off the garage. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better position for a uh, a powder room as we come on back here so here is this will be another storage closet yeah so since we're right here we'll go ahead and look in the utility room yeah, but it wraps around into the main closet but i don't want to go in from that way i want to go another way so you can kind of uh, see what it's like going down that hall into your main bedroom this is a lot of countertop space i like you've got your uh, hanging rod here Spot for your washer and your dryer right here. What's behind this door? Another storage, oh my goodness. So yeah, that, uh, it kind of like loops all the way around from the uh, bathroom closet and we'll check all that out but we're gonna go around this direction y'all look at this <laughs> I actually had to stop I was like wait a minute does this go into the main bedroom closet but this is just another maybe this is like your practice closet this is like this is this is the fellas closet yep this is the fellas closet ladies stick around we're gonna be looking at your closet here sure. so this is your main bedroom i love the double doors that you have access onto that porch that we checked out and uh, just it'll, it's wonderful Okay, double doors into this main bath, but I, but it's almost like I gotta give you the view from this bedroom because it is breathtaking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open these doors and then we're gonna walk in. Okay, here we go, look at this. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. Don't worry, we're gonna take a deeper dive into that, but I wanna start out with these sinks. This is gonna be like a little linen closet that you have right here. What do y'all wanna look at? The shower and the tub or the closet? I can't hear, what, what, okay. Well, typically I'll do this last, but since we're right here, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now I'm gonna talk about some things I noticed. Y'all be sure to drop a comment. I haven't really showed you. This is the same towel we've seen in other bathrooms. Uh, but one thing I noticed is how they took their faucet. It's like coming out of the shower. That is really nice. The chandelier sets that off in here. 
We actually have a light in the shower. I want to show that to you, but it's got a fan. I don't want it to affect the audio, but you can kind of see there. Two doors on this tile shower will go in on this side. Not sure how you clean yourself with that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know what that is, y'all. Chill out. Goodness gracious. <laughs> this towel right here has got more of a like a gloss look to it, which I definitely like in your shower. Now we got to look at this closet. I mean, if you thought that was great, stick around. There's more. Okay. This is a really big closet, but not only is it big, you've got built-ins everywhere. You got this really nice mirror when you're getting ready. And then you have all these drawers. So you don't even have to have like dressers in your bedroom. You just have everything in here, which that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. That may become, that may already be a very big popular thing, but uh, things may continue to go that direction where that's all you see. Then you got the hardwood floors in here. But yeah, this door right here, what's in there? That's that utility room. So let's go out here onto this uh, garage and wrap things up. So walking out into the garage right here, just give you a quick shot of this right here. It's a double, it's a, I mean a single door, but kind of like a two car. I think that door is about 18 foot wide right there. But yeah, you guys be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you have not, if you enjoy these types of tours. I gotta encourage you to check out our site built playlist again if you enjoy seeing the new constructions like this. Got several of them that we've done up until this point. Look at that, access to your attic in there. Hey, share this video with someone, if you will. That'll help us out tremendously. And the other thing that'll help us out tremendously, and that would be smashing that like button. Thank you so much for doing that. Okay, 30 seconds and I'm out of your hair. I just wanna stress for new viewers, the videos come out on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night, 6.45 Central Time. The next video is Tuesday. Y'all come back, got some great homes lined up for next week. Hope to see every one of you. And when it comes to pricing on something like this, all I can really give you is an idea. And in this area, I believe homes are being built somewhere around 165 to 185, maybe more dollars per square foot. Obviously, that's not including pool and all that kind of stuff like that. But this would just be the home. That'll give you a good idea, but it depends on your area, kind of what prices are going for. Maybe this will help you out, though. I'm going to head out. Hope every one of you have a wonderful weekend. God bless you all. And I will see you Tuesday night. Till then, stay safe. See ya.